Right. Well, it was a chilly morning it earlier was. today. But but look but outside now. Yes. Yeah. Yep. The sunshine quickly uh, warmed things up, and yeah. we're just going to keep getting warmer from here. Mm -hmm. So the month of September coming to a close at sunset tonight as we approach the start of October, which means that early morning lows like this will likely become a little bit more frequent. But just look where Vallis falling back into the upper 30s, sub-freezing temperatures just east of the Cascades as our afternoon temperatures have rebounded quite nicely. Back up in to the mid to upper 70s for us up and down the I-5 quarter is our average daytime high temperature for this final day in September typically sits right around 72 degrees. But all of those cooler conditions really allowing for the fall colors to start to pop here across the Portland, Vancouver metro area. These were some of the views I was able to spot out towards the Tigard area just yesterday. And we're expecting to see more colors creep their way back into the I-5 quarter over the next week or so as much of the Cascades are currently in their peak fall foliage right now, all above about 5,000 feet. That's due to the cooler conditions we typically see up in elevation as our current winds uh, keeping a lot of those fall colors tightly gripped to the tree limbs, uh, hopefully doing just that as we see those gusts right around 17 miles per hour here in the city. We have the potential to see some of those gusts near about 25 miles per hour as we slowly taper back those winds through the overnight hours and into early tomorrow. As our satellite and radar shows calm, quiet and clear conditions across much of our area, but we are lacking in the rain department. Only seen just a few days with accumulative rain showers. The breadwinner was back on the 25th where we all Almost closed in at a half inch of rain, but that puts us below normal by over three quarters of an inch. That, of course, coming off the heels of a very toasty September. Now the second record for warmest September ever. 2022 was the peak of the heats that we've seen on record nearing that 75 degree mark. But with October right around the corner, 64 degrees is that average daytime high, 47 the overnight low. And this is typically our sixth weathest month of the year, averaging almost three and a half inches of moisture. But this is also a cooling month for us for October 1st. So tomorrow, our brand new average daytime high temperature 71. Come Halloween, 58 degrees is all we managed to typically get up to. So about a 13 degree temperature swing as we expect to dry things out over the next week, week and a half, and also warm our temperatures once more. So maybe not playing nicely with our averages as we expect to see the clouds move their way back on shore later tonight into the early morning hours, but then that will be broken down. The sunshine returns once more with maybe a stray raindrop or two tomorrow afternoon and evening for the coastline, but we will stay dry through the I-5 quarter and really staying dry through through about the next week or so as we get to enjoy that sunshine. All thanks to a ridge of high pressure building off to the coastline and encompassing much of western sections of our country as we try to get this trough to move its way back on shore unlikely to do so until we get to the beginning of next week. So tonight here in the city, 51 degrees. That's where we fall to. Those winds will start to taper back tomorrow along the coast. 60s, even 70s possible. The I-5 corridor approaching 80 degrees in many cases. Out towards the east, still feeling a bit like summer with those low 80s and 68 degrees for government camp. Our seven-day forecast does show that we are going to be staying on the dry side for the next week or so. And we'll cool things off slightly for the second day of October on Wednesday with the high of only 70. And then those upper 70s return by the week's end, taking us into a dry, sunny, and calm weekend ahead. So okay. the pumpkin patches, the mazes, hmm. prime time this weekend. I'm going to drag my teenagers there, All and they're right. going to take those pumpkin patch photos. Yeah, and yes. they'll smile doing and it. And they are going to smile. <laughs> That's right. Thanks, Josh. Yep. Well, one